six, public enemy number one. They're back. This Asian carp just found dangerously close to Lake Michigan here. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. The offending fish was caught at the T.J. O'Brien Lock and Dam less than 10 miles from Lake Michigan. So what's all the worry about? CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker live along the lakefront to explain. Dorothy. But Rob, Chicago's beautiful lake, it's where we play, it's where we swim, and it is also part of a $7 billion fishing industry that would be destroyed if it is invaded by carp. It was a little surprising, definitely, to get an Asian carp in the net. This is the carp caught in the net. Two miles. Ecologist Rebecca Anderson is part of the team that monitors the waters looking for stray carp. It was an adult silver carp. Um, it was 703 millimeters, so about 20 inches. What'd you say? Yeah, and about eight pounds. Yesterday they snagged this one just downstream from the T.J. O'Brien Lock and Dam in the Little Calumet River, about eight miles from Lake Michigan. Certainly, the finding of uh, the one Asian carp is uh, very disturbing news for a number of reasons. <laughs> One, they reproduce faster than most fish and are not good neighbors. They eat all the food that all the other fish need. If the native fish in Lake Michigan are gone, so too is the seven billion dollar fishing industry. They're also a threat to people recreating on rivers. <laughs> You've probably seen footage of that uh, and sort of can fly up in your boat, can hit you in your boat when they are disturbed by things like engines. How the carp got close to the lake is under investigation, but Caddick thinks it may have happened at an electric barrier where a current underwater shocks carp that get too close, unless a passing barge breaks the current. Small fish can get caught up in that bubble zone and carried through the electric barrier. Authorities will now spend another two weeks monitoring the waters in case this carp was not alone. If you find more, then what? If we do happen to find any more fish, then yes, we, we may have to change our, our way of thinking. Well, that carp caught yesterday is now being analyzed in a lab downstate. That will tell experts where it came from and just how long it had been in our waters. Reporting live from Vernon Harbor, Dorothy Tucker, CBS 2 News. Back to you, Rob and Erica. Okay, Dorothy, thank you.